Hey, what's up, Red Guides? It's Sick, and today I want to bring you a little update to MQ2 status. So, if you recall before, if we do a slash status, it's going to show us if we have a uh, class plugin available to us, one of the chat with this name class plugins, and then it's going to also uh, show us any macro we have running. Um, so, right now, if you can see that I have class plugin not loaded, uh, and macro, IHC Warrior, ah, and it's assisting uh, Warrior O. <clears throat> so now we have in here that if you're running any of the IHC mercs, it's also going to return back who you're assisting. So if you did, you know, uh, if you request a status update for your whole crew, BCAA, you know, uh, forward slash forward slash status, your whole crew is going to tell you who they're assisting. So that'll help uh, make sure that everyone is set up correctly. It's the same way we have KISS set up. KISS returns back what your role is. You know, it says your role is tank or assist or puller puller tank, etc. So we want to give IHC some love and support with, uh, with status as well. Anyhow, so let's get back to this class plugin. So if I do a status show warrior, and I just enter that, it's going to tell me that warrior is currently turned on, and I can change this by typing slash status show warrior true false zero one on or off. So I'm going to do slash status show warrior off. Okay, so if I do status... Now it's only going to display the macro. And I'll still do the other stuff like uh, uh, status. It'll say that I'm, I'm hiding in some capacity, right? Um, but now we can hide the, the class plugins. Now, this is important. We turn warrior back on. So we just slash status, warrior's turned on, class plugin not loaded. Now we can either specify each individual class we want shown or hidden. Like maybe you, you want to show Berserker, but you don't want to see Warrior, SK, Cleric, whatever. Um, you can turn those on individually. If you don't want to see any of them, you can do slash status show plugin. Plugin's currently on, and we can turn that off. And when we do status, you'll also see that that's off. So to, to display a class, you will need that uh, particular one set to on and the plugin set to on. So this just gives you some flexibility so you don't have to go through for every single class and turn them off if you just want all of them turned off. And this writes to mq2status.ini in your release folder. You can always open that and, and edit that um, if you wanted to edit it or, or look at it yourself. Anyway, so that's what we have going on now. Um, we'll be uh, doing some more updates to this in the future to integrate some additional things uh, people have given feedback on. So. Definitely keep giving your feedback, and um, I will add cool stuff to this as we go. So appreciate you guys. Much love. 